go to Bunnings. Time to fix the bathroom. What do we need? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff. and I need to modernize it because I guess there's a few things that I've got a few problems with. First of all, the shower screen like doesn't actually work. So you can fully get like, like that shouldn't happen. So we need to fix the shower screen. That is insane. And then this bathtub, I mean, I love baths. I love my bath time and can, like this is just not like, conducive to, to relaxing and it's just, it's a bit ugh. So I wanna fix it. I don't like staring at these rose tiles when I'm in the bath. So I'm gonna paint them. I need to modernize it. I need to take them away. I wanna strip it back. Plus it's just a bit dank and a bit old. I just need to strip it. These need to go. I really don't like this. This is gold, kind of decorative. It's not really my thing. So I wanna get rid of these. They're everywhere. It needs a bit of paint and a bit, and there's a lot of paint. A lot of paint in here. Check this out. Look how nice this is. What an amazing light feature. Missing a couple of bulbs. Look how cool that is. Oh, beautiful. It's not really working for me. I don't even know how to describe that. That's just kind of like trying to be Hollywood glamour and just failing epically. So I need to figure out some lighting for this space. The thing is in here, I mean, it is a bathroom that I want to modernize and switch out, but I just do not want to rip everything up. Like that's just not what we're going to do. So I need to basically work with what I've got. So I'm going to keep this cabinetry because I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's actually good storage. But what I want to do is paint the doors. I'll probably switch out some of these pools. I want to get rid of this mirror and put something in here that's a bit more modern. Shower screen, that needs to be switched out. The fixtures, paint. Paint's gonna fix everything in this room, I hope. Time to go to Bunnings. Time to fix the bathroom. What do we need? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff. We need this, we need that, we need taps, we need paint. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> We also need just like spack filler and stuff. Yeah, that's just there. What do you want to do? I like the ones that and you can And polyfill into. interior, large cracks. Small cracks, large cracks. Large cracks. Very large cracks. Oh, Get a small crack one as well if you're going to do all the little, what? all the old pinholes and... Well, I feel like this is excellent. Okay, that'll do. Grab it. Let's go. So. If we get that though, you're too tall. That's not going to work. No. No. But I like it. Ow. Death by tap. Well, I know that you like these sorts of taps. Well, they're just simple. But I prefer these. And so whenever we both disagree, it's safe to say that we're probably going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go these two. Yeah. We'll get that for the sink in the bathroom. But that is not going to work in our shower because it's too small and too short. So we need something that goes... Well, before we go, like, grab what you need. Okay. So, shower. What? What do we think of those? Oh my god, it's that one. If we get something like this bad boy, mm -hmm. you'll stop whinging saying it's too short because it's got a little flexy thing. Is that the biggest problem in the bathroom that I whinge about it? Well, at the moment, you don't even use it, nor do I. Oh. So, we yeah. need to first make it functional and then you need to stop whinging, yes. What about shower screens? We need to figure out our shower screen. It makes me sad. All right, we're going to need a new dunning. Here, oh, Jono, you know all the I'll YouTube let, comments? I'll let. Say you're too bogan. That one's just like really setting them off. New dunning. Yeah, new dunning. How many people think I'm bogan? I've never been called bogan in my life. You get to choose the toilet. Oh, I don't. What? I get to choose the toilet. <laughs> I'm a bit confused.
confused about the bathroom because I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing white or if I'm just going to go white trim and a little bit of like a soft grey. So I'm just going to paint samples everywhere because I want to. I don't need hot tip. Which hot tip? Writing? Yeah. Oh, I need my pencil. Can you get my pencil for me? <laughs> Thank you. Vivid. Right. My other hot tip though, make sure you don't just do one coat. Try and like go over it a couple of times as well. I'm going to do one over here. Oh God. It's already made a bit of a difference. Down there. It's the age old dilemma of do I go a dark or light floor for my bathroom? Is that the age old dilemma? That's the age old dilemma. So this is Snow Season from Dulux and then this one is Grey Master. Originally like we were thinking of turning this into a charcoal cabinet but now I'm not entirely sure if I want to go light or dark on the floor. And if I go dark on the floor I probably won't keep that the same colour because I think that's a bit much. What do you think? Grey on the floor looks alright but I think that's too dark. The one on the left's too dark. I disagree. I don't want wishy-washy grey. If I'm going to go dark, I want dark on the floor. And my rationale is there's lots of black accents in this bathroom, well not now, but there will be black accents in this bathroom and they're not going to be anywhere else. So I thought if the floor is a charcoal, then that will, I don't know, even it out or something. And so if I do that charcoal on the floor, this cabinet could be snow season. I just thought it was a nice subtle shade of grey, which would actually look quite nice. It's a really subtle tone. I think I'm going to have to mock this up on the computer. I'm just not sure. Oh, check back in. Check back in. What you doing? I'm trying to start this Renault finally. Alright. Get rid of this, you don't need it. Get rid of all of this. Clean it out. We're gonna make a pretty big mess. We gotta just get it ready so we can paint, right? So I reckon I know what your job's gonna be. Spack filling. You love spack filling. I love spack filling. Like your favorite pastime. I'm like know. the spack filling queen. Yeah, I reckon. In fact, I wanna get a t-shirt made up. Merch, coming soon. <laughs> wow, this is like a lot of turns and a really awkward thing to turn. Oh, I found an easier way to do it. There we go. It's so ugly. Get it off. I don't even actually know how it comes off. Get it off without breaking tiles. I don't know how it's threaded. I don't know which bit turns. Oh, I'll work that out later. Oh, it's like a little smiley face. Yeah, but it's a mouldy, gross smiley face. Yeah. We'll just fill it with some epoxy filler. Okay. And because we're painting over the tiles, it'll seal Hopefully. and waterproof it. Yeah, okay. Bye bye, showerhead. Look how pox it is. It's not pox, it's just not it's just Lux. Terrible. And you deserve Lux, Jono. We all know we're making this Lux for me, aren't we? <laughs> this shower screen, I'm gonna take it out because we've gotta paint all the tiles and we've gotta clean it up and you've gotta paint the side of the cabinet and everything. We've got a new shower screen, mm. but I don't know how it's gonna fit yet, so I'm not gonna trash it. I'm gonna keep it in case we have to reuse it or at least maybe reuse this one side. I might need you to help me get Get it out because it'll be quite heavy. Jono, what? What's this? That's a hole. I thought we said no holes. We, we didn't say no holes. We, we said, said no, no retiling. Well, we said no retiling. What do you call that? It's a hole. I'm just gonna have to patch it. Patch it? Yeah. We're gonna have to at least buy one tile. Okay. Um, it's gotta go. It's gotta go. You're yeah. quite right. I don't even know how it's stuck on. I reckon it's just a heap of glue. I don't want to break it. I don't want to end up with glass all over it. No. <sighs> I'll go you know what? That mm. one's probably gone and like squeezed a whole tube of glue on it. That probably means that half the wall's gonna come off with it and there'll be big holes in it. It might have a nice brick feature. <gasps> Kind of cool. I might have to smash it. That's seven years bad luck. You can't smash it. I know. I got another idea. I think it might just be on the screws. 
Ah. Two screws, no glue. <laughs> or sail, one mirror. Do you know what? We could do something with that. Keep it. I don't want it. Keep it. I'm joking. Okay, so how do we get this light thing off? Don't I'm just gonna leave it for the moment it. until we get the new light. And yep. then I think it's sparky just to fix it. it. So for the moment, oh look, there's another one. It's about to go, we're only gonna <laughs> I don't know why we don't keep that. Such a beautiful feature. Yeah, if you do a stupid thing, you can't buy that style of bulb anymore, I don't think. I tried to find them. If anyone knows where you get them, I'll get eight of them and we can probably reuse them. Do you know how it would be cool? Vertically, you could create like a sick feature in like a hallway. How's it looking? I think we need to do another. There were some pretty serious holes in the wall. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to do another coat. They're still not even dry. So we're gonna have to go over them again tonight. We'll just sand it back and then give them another thing. Cause look, these ones have like sunk in. Yeah, I know. Well, they've all done that. Oh, well, you want to sand it and then do it again, not do it again and sand it all. No, we'll just sand it so it's flat and then we can fill it again. How about we get the ceiling done in here when we're yep. doing the ceiling in the living room? Two birds, one stone. Two ceilings, one spraker. Sure. Yay! Watch out! There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this was what we were using to like get to surfaces because we didn't have a proper mop. It was good when it hadn't stuff it out. It's just a simple chucks on a broom. Mm. Hot tip. See? Cleaning this a little bit. Kinda works. Let's go, let's time to roll. Time to roll. Bathroom update. She's a mess but 10 times better already than what it was before. Looks much lighter, brighter, cleaner. It took me so long to paint these walls. I can't even begin to explain. The prep work was massive. They're still not perfect, but it's an older house. I've done the best that I can do and they look so much better. Three coats of paint. And what I'm really excited about is painting these so what we need to do today, Jono, I need you to knock this off. I don't know how you do that without ruining stuff, but I need you to get it away. Take it away, because I have a feeling our shower, this shower screen goes like higher. No, our shower screen's the same height, but our shower head is gonna be made No, the higher. shower screen's higher. Is it? Yeah, that's why we're How much higher is it? Like up here. Is it? It's yes. the same size. Oh, uh, you've, oh. Well, maybe like, we need, well, we should gonna, measure it then. We're gonna need more tiles. Well, I need to know exactly how high it is because then we have to make whatever that tile wall is exactly the height of the we need to shower screen, otherwise it's gonna look real weird. Yeah, but I thought you had this sorted. You need to also yeah. figure that out. Yeah, okay. Does that mean we need to tile down the side? Yes. So we, we have to extend the tiles maybe 30 centimeters? Maybe not. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, can I show you one thing? Very excited because I found the mirror that's gonna go in here. To start with, initially I was just gonna get like a built out like mirrored cabinet, like for some more storage. But in the end, I didn't. <laughs> because look what I found. Look at this mirror. I found this on Lights, Lights, Lights. Look how sexy it is. Look what it looks like. Don't you think that'll be nice here? I mentioned it, I, I forget, but I'm pretty sure it fits. It comes in other little ones as well, which are kind of cool, but I think this large one's gonna be epic. <laughs> Yeah, I've got Not to paint the thing. cabinet today as well. I've got to figure out how to paint that renovation range stuff. And then let's not do any of this until all the tiles are finished and dry and that's the last thing, right? The last thing, I'll paint the floor and then everybody out. This is going to be good. Oh my God, what are those glasses? Well, you should probably have some as well. Uh, uh, tile. I am the dominator, the yeah. tile dominator. I'll be back. I can't find any clear ones, so I've got my outdoor ones on. Yeah. Don't stuff it up! Yeah. Am I gonna get dirty? Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> a bit of a difference. It just needed something. It was just so big and so sort of empty. But I'm gonna paint it white. So I'm gonna paint it white today. I'm also painting this pretty little floral Ooh. motif. 
and that too, that's going. And I'll fix this because someone ruined my paint job, didn't they? Sure did. Ah, I've got to fix your mess. And I need you to fix this. What's the, that? The fan's not in. Nope. It's not in the hole, probably. That means gonna have to get up on the roof. Disaster. It's only like 35 degrees outside. It'll be about 85 upstairs in the roof. I'll give you some sunscreen. It's in the dark. Oh. Come on, back to work. What are you doing today? Painting, like I did yesterday, and then the day before that. Look at this, I've done two coats of the tiles, painted over that with the red orange. So you can still see a little bit of that floral. So I'm gonna do a third coat. Can you see that? Yeah, you can still sort of see through yeah. it, so it needs another On the other tiles it's fine, but the ones that have actually got that pattern, it needs more contact. So I might have to do three, maybe even four, if I can't cover it in the third coat. And then I need you to silicon as well. There was a lot of prep work involved, like way more than I thought. And because previous people had done a really bad silicon job, I found it really difficult to kind of get it off. So I'm hoping that when we re-silicon it, we can go over some of the interesting bits. Oh, the floor. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of work in here. I'll let you know when I'm ready to go for that. Oh, cabinet. Well, obviously it doesn't look great now, but how nice is that? Yeah, that's gonna look bloody good. I just gotta find amazing. those doors, put the doors back on. So I've done my coat of primer. You can see it's all shiny. So I've got snow season, which is a really light gray. He needs a mixer. So I've got my additive. How much additive do you have to put in? All of it, one tube per tub, and then you gotta mix it really well, like up to five minutes even. About five minutes of stirring in. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the final touch to make this room look so different. Well, we've got a few more final touches. No, but like Speaking the of last which, big hot thing. tip, B-Y-O knees. Knee pads? Yeah, 20 year old knees here. Freshies out of the box. <laughs> Coats. I can't paint it until tomorrow morning. Um. Well, good job. I need to find a light for the bathroom and the one that I saw online. I just want to look at that. Have you got a mirror? One no, of the mirror lights? No. You, don't you guys know. got the first one. <laughs> oh, did oh, we? Yeah. First, yeah. first one we brought in here. Oh, yeah. no way. It is beautiful. Oh, and because we haven't changed too much in the bathroom in terms of like the layout, yeah. we've just changed all the fixtures and stuff. And yeah. so that's like the hero now. And it oh, really like lifts it. Well, when you guys inquired about it, I think it had been available for maybe two months. It was only released last year. They just so happened to our warehouse in Perth, happened to have one. Oh, that's and so it just good. kind of fell into place. And the different shapes are really interesting as well. That kind of skinny one would be beautiful for a hallway yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Sorted? Sorted, oh my god. We've got the sexiest lights. We've got the sexiest house. Okay, next stop. Running. Come on. We didn't change the layout of this bathroom, so there's one final touch that I need to make to make that bath epic for Lucy. Got a bit of leftover Vic Ash. It's almost the right size, it's got to trim it down a little bit, clean it up, sand it, whack it in the bath as a little tray. Lucy can put a drink on it, iPad, it'll make bath time a little bit more right, special. Let's chop it up and then get it in the bath before Lucy finds out. Okay, you ready? 
Drum roll, please. Bathroom reveal. bathroom but just a little bit different we didn't change the layout we wanted to save money so we just wanted to update what we already had uh, went to Bunnings and checked out the renovation range paint from Dulux which became my new best friend because I painted over the beautiful floral motif didn't keep it who would have thought <laughs> so now it's beautiful. I chose the, just a vivid white. I wanted to go really fresh, really light and bright, and it just changes everything. So I love that. It's just so much nicer. As soon as those floral things were gone, it just made it just made my heart calm down somewhat. So the tiles are painted, and also the floors painted the floor tiles and that is with the renovation range as well. I am like so stoked with how these turned out. I was debating whether or not to do a light gray or whether I was gonna go a dark floor and do like a charcoal, but I went light in the end. Um, I chose Snow Season, which they actually made up for me. So that was really cool. Uh, it was actually quite easy to do. I was freaking out a little bit. There was a lot of prep work involved in just cleaning the surfaces and making sure it was all good and ready to paint. And before, they were just like, what color would you even say they were? They were like ugly. <laughs> it's not a colour, but I'll accept it. It's just changed everything. It's just opened everything up. So I absolutely love the Renault range and would 100% recommend it. In terms of paint, I spent a lot of time in here, as did you, Jono. And it doesn't look like it because, I mean, it's white. But there was a lot of prep work in this space because it was very dirty. There was a few sections that had mold that needed to be taken care of. So we needed to clean up and make sure all mold was gone and that it was a really good surface. It actually took us a long time to paint and get a really good finish, but we've sprayed everything. I say we. John, I sprayed the ceiling, which looks amazing. Um, and then we've got a lexicon quarter on the walls, which is the wash and wear, but it's wash and wear plus specifically for bathrooms. When I painted everything, it was beautiful. It was really fresh wasn't it John? it was like white and bright but this wall was such a big high white wall that it was just missing something wasn't it so what did you put in it my textured panels how good are these panels so these are easy craft panels specifically for wet areas must stress very important this is a wet area and not all like easy craft panels are the same you need to get ones that are actually okay to use in bathrooms and in wet areas can i just say how much these panels changed the game in here. Like it just needed something, didn't it? It just needed texture. And without these, it was all just a bit flat. It's such a tall, skinny room. Yeah. And there's just a lot of white straight wall. And it wasn't a perfect wall either, I must admit. So this actually helped it because it gave it some, you know, really lovely, like just straight lines. It gave it structure. And I just like this detail as well. So, but there was a few different options of corner trims and I kind of like this one because it's sort of the bulbous, it's kind of old school. I mean, our house is Edwardian, it's a bit old school and plus because we've got that stained glass window. So it sort of works, especially with some of our fixtures as well. So basically we painted everything. We put the panels on the walls. We changed a couple of key pieces like this guy. Do we remember? So this is so much nicer. Hello, I'm in the pool shower. We picked this up at 
Bunnings. I quite actually, I don't mind the chrome detail. I know you were freaking out about the chrome, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's quite nice and modern. And you know what? It matches our mirror vibes going on. The other thing that we picked up at Bano's was New Dunny, which very important, right? New Dunny? Yeah, New Dunny. New well, <laughs> we didn't want to change the position of anything, but our toilet before was quite disgusting. So just changing this has completely changed everything. This is a Mondela one, right? We picked this up, it's a Mondela one. It's just really minimal and it's very contemporary as well, which kind of lifts the space. Other things that we picked up are matte black. We got rid of the gold that was very tarnished and very kind of old and broken. So we've got these beautiful matte black features, very minimal, very subtle. I mean, a totally different look in here now. So we've got them happening in the bath. We've got them happening in the shower we've got them happening in the sink over here in our basin in our vanity and we've also got them here in our door pools and does this look like a different color to you Jono? I was actually going to paint this with the Renault range from Dulux the darkest they can do in the Renault range is Grey Master, which is pretty dark, like it's like a charcoal. But I wanted even darker, so I actually went black caviar in Aqua enamel. And I could do that because my surface, it was timber, and I sanded it back so much that the surface was fine for me to paint Aqua enamel over the top. So just double check what your surface is if you're painting your cabinets and what you actually need to use. But I think black caviar looks sexy, and it just lifts everything. Speaking of lifting, the best mirror or is it a mirror or is it a light is it both it's both oh my god do you remember when i was looking at this on and it was just so little and it was on my phone and i was like oh i want this in my space it's gonna look so good do you remember that it is so so good i must admit i was thinking maybe i do like a storage unit maybe i have more like cabinetry here and i do like a mirrored cabinet but i'm actually really glad we went this option because it's just because we didn't change anything in this bathroom it needed something like it needed a hero and that was the hero it's from lights 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 my styling is definitely what would you say it's, it's slimmed down somewhat it's paired back a little bit just paired back a bit, but I just really like the fact that I don't have so much stuff anymore. What I have done, so little things like this, so we've put these in, oh sorry, we've popped in some really good little uh, hooks, for this is nice for the hand towel. These are great because without the texture of towels in the room, it actually kind of looks a little bit flat. So I love the fact that we've got these hooks here. It just brings a bit more kind of tactile softness to the space and it really helps it. Tapware, yeah, this is Mondella as well. So we pretty much did, we were very consistent in that. So everything that we chose was the same brand and it was the same shape. Very clean, very minimal. I must say the simplest room, but one of the hardest to do in terms, there was a lot of DIY, like there was a lot of painting involved, which meant a lot of prep work. But I've got to say, the difference like from where we started to where we are now is just completely different and I am just so happy like spending time in this room now like I love spending time in here I love taking baths and before like I mean it's not the best bath but now that Jono's made me that cute little timber shelf like now I do have a nice bath I'm really proud of us Jono it's been a big job it's been good it's been it's a good big now. job oh look my cheeks are all like yay yay Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We spent a lot of time in this bathroom making it pretty, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment below. And if you wanna know more about what we actually used and chose in this bathroom, make sure you hit the links below because we've got more information for you there. And subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got plenty more videos coming your way. The best Very good. kitchen you've ever seen. It's ready, it's done, it's clean, it's fully stocked. Come into my kitchen. What are you doing? Filming. What? Because you said come and film me styling up. I'm not styling anything, I'm just having a piece of. It's only a roll of toilet paper. But I'm holding it very stylish. <laughs> <laughs>